Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Black Widow Challenge. So today, Jocelyn's gonna give birth. She is more than ready to have this baby out. Like, she was not expecting to get pregnant whatsoever. So she is, look at her. She's moving, excited to give birth to that baby, which... I mean, I don't blame her. So hopefully that will be happening very shortly because she just hit her third trimester. Uh, I also went ahead and picked out a name for the baby since we already know it's a boy. So I decided that I'm going to name him Hades. So a lot of you guys are giving me like death related names, which I actually love for that idea. So if we end up having more kids in the future, which I'm not intentionally going for, but if it happens, it happens. So uh, we'll have some more on the line, I guess. If you guys have more like death related names, as morbid as that sounds, I think that's like such a cool idea because considering like what you know, Jocelyn is up to is killing all the men that she gets with or women. I mean, we haven't had a wife yet, but I'm thinking that maybe our next victim is going to be a woman because you know what? Let's switch it up a little bit. You know, we've gone after two men. Let's, uh, let's go for a woman and it's not going to be Emily because Emily's our bestie. I also went ahead and made the hideout because I talked about that in the last episode. How I kind of wanted to have a space where she can kind of like go and not necessarily like she can live there. Uh, but it's not gonna be like their home. I think I'm gonna make this kind of where Emily stays with the child because I don't know if we're gonna move around a lot because the apartment I guess was fine But it was gonna end up getting very small regardless So maybe eventually they'll like find another place like if she gets richer or something that we could maybe afford a bigger house or something like that uh, But for now, I think we're good with this But even though this is only a two-bedroom house uh, I'm probably gonna just have the baby's crib in here just so that um, I don't have to worry about it. I do want to, however, take this photograph of Judith, which, by the way, her last name is Kalani right now. I don't, she got married to somebody. So what we're going to do is put that in the hideout because because I don't have to keep forgetting about it. I also don't know how often we're going to be heading over to the hideout, but I will head over now so I can show you guys what I did. Uh, it's something like crazy amazing or anything. Uh, it's just, you know, a hideout. So... Let's go ahead and head over there. All right, so here's the hideout. It's not like a great house or anything of that matter. I kind of wanted this place to be a place she can kind of just go. Like if she needs to actually hide out and, you know, after she's murdered uh, one of her husbands or wives, she can just come here and live in between the time that she needs to find a place to live or whatever the case is. So I like that. Obviously, it's not furnished completely. We kind of ran out of money a little bit. Uh, I mean, we do have 8,000 simoleons. So I could put more money into this, but for now, I think it's okay. And we might end up putting, like, kid stuff in here for her child. Um, but, yeah, we have a small kitchen. It's not supposed to be luxurious by any means. But, oh my, I didn't even paint this room. Yikes. So, the main thing that I wanted to have is a little graveyard. Here is what it looks like. So, we have a section dedicated to each person that she's gonna end up murdering. So there has to be 10 and we already have one filled, which is Steven. So since we took a picture with Steven, I went ahead and placed that here. So we kind of know that this is his grave, even though like we can just hover over it and see, but that way we have like photos. I do have another picture with him that I might put in here, uh, just so that we have like kind of a, a memorial in a way. But yeah, that's the first one and we have nine more to go. She can laugh at Steven. You know what? Why don't you just go ahead and do that? Laugh at the fact that he's dead right now. <laughs> that is, that is so bad. Look at her. I love things. There's a certain special joy in basking in the newness of one's recent purchases. Well, that's for sure. So we haven't even gone on another date. Oh my God, wait. So I might get married to Mortimer in this episode only because the baby's kind of like the main thing that's supposed to happen, but we could just go ahead and get married. I don't have a venue in mind at all, but we could probably find one or we could just get married at the same place that we got married last time. I don't know when she's gonna like tell Emily about everything that she does because right now she has no idea really. She's just kind of been going around like they moved into Susan's house because their apartment building burnt down i feel like emily might have an inkling of something off happening but she's not like 100 percent certain on what exactly is going on jocelyn's just like waiting to build up that trust to be able to like expose like 
hey girl, like I'm getting married to people stealing their money and then murdering them, you know? <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Um, so do you wanna like help me or what? But yeah, so once we develop like a really good relationship with her, we become best friends, that's when I want to be able to involve her more into this and like, you know, help her out and stuff. So of course, once she gets married to Mortimer, we're going to be leaving and we're going to just tell Emily like, hey, can you like take care of my kid? I'm going to be going away for a little bit, which won't be that long because after we murder Mortimer, we're probably going to be dipping and not living there anymore. So there's that. Maybe we could just go on a date just so we can finish this aspiration. Also, I've had a couple people comment about my Sims running uh, because way back when university came out i installed a mod to make sims run to class or whatever that mod has been long gone like i deleted that mod ages ago once i stopped playing with university i deleted all the university mods i don't have any of those in my game so it's not that i just i still don't know what it is we'll invite him to our current lot and then we'll ask him out all right mortimer will be here soon oh <laughs> you didn't waste any time it's like you were already here or something mortimer like hello <laughs> okay so let me go ahead and ask about his days and that's what she wants to do and she wants to flirt with someone so let's just flirt with our man oh he's sad why like bella wasn't worth it we're worth it i'm telling you come on just love me for me i low-key hope that this is mortimer's baby i'm not gonna lie imagine the name hades goth Ooh, that's a good one i like that she wants to woohoo with him i mean sweetheart I'll do anything for points. <laughs> Let's do this. Why are you going in your boots and your entire... Okay. She was like, oh, I forgot to change my clothes. So she switches right in the middle of it. Okay. I mean... Oh, she just kicked in the face. What? Um, Mortimer, be a little bit more gentle with her, please. Okay, Emily, getting a promotion. I've literally not helped her with that at all. She's just doing her own thing, so... Bless your soul. So I ended up changing the lifespan back to normal. I was rereading the rules the other day and uh, it said that it has to be at normal. So I went ahead and just did that. Plus she's pregnant. So her aging has kind of stopped anyway right now. So I guess we're okay. I just realized we've been here before with Steven. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go and get ourselves a table. Is that Susan? That's Nancy. I mean, I'm low-key thinking that Nancy could be our next person. Oh what? gosh, she's like falling asleep. Oh, Morty, where are you? Hello. Did he ditch me? Oh, he's out there. We need to talk about our wedding because we are now engaged and I know that you love me very, very much. So we gotta get married, you know? Oh, he's feeling flirted. They both are. <gasps> this is good. Okay, um, deep conversation. I wanna get to know him, even though like, I mean, obviously we don't know him. Obviously we don't know him completely because we kind of just uh well hooked up with him and now we're engaged i guess we're just charming in that manner that like we can just get anybody we want now i did also get a comment on the last episode basically saying that um she should dress up to attract certain type of men so like the example they gave was like she could dress up like nerdy to attract maybe a nerdier man we make it be man or woman doesn't matter but I kind of like that idea. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Because right now I feel like we're attracting the more rich. Did she just deliver dirty dishes to me? Who did that? Because she needs to be fired whoever just did that. Excuse me? And you dropped the food on the ground. Are you freaking joking? What is this service? I, I'm actually appalled at the fact that there's dirty dishes right in front of my face. But anyways, so as I was saying, I don't know how often I would do that. I guess it could be to attract a certain person. So like maybe if we were going to attract like, I don't know, some bad boy who has tattoos and stuff, like maybe she could dress up with like, I don't know, fake tattoos and like all that stuff to, you know, get them. Like for example, what's his name? Um, where is he? Like Caden, because he's got, he's tatted up and stuff. So maybe we could do that. I kind of like that idea. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So maybe she'll have some transformations. She could be, I don't know if you guys know, there's a show called, I believe it was Imposters. And basically the woman would change her appearance very often and like change who she is completely because she was a con artist. So she would like steal their money and then like leave. That's kind of what that um, comment reminded me of. So maybe we could do something like that. I mean, are she going to bring us our food again? She better. Oh, they took the dirty dishes. Thank God. All right, well, you go ahead and use this while we wait for our food. 
and talk to Mortimer because y'all aren't talking like at all. So <laughs> let's uh, interact with our date. That doesn't actually look that good to be honest. That's cause it's poor quality. Nina, what is Nina doing cooking in the kitchen? This place looks so like expensive and we're getting poor quality food. Honestly, love that. Can I complain? Can I leave this restaurant a bad review and meal? I'd rather not pay for this, hello? No, 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 no. Oh my God. Let me just bump this up slightly. Come on. All right. Let's go give him a kiss. Oh, have three first kisses. Okay. Next person will have our third first kiss. So not too bad. We're going to head home. So thank you so much, Mortimer, for the um great day, I guess. It wasn't the best, but you know, it, it's okay. <laughs> That's completely fine. We'll give him a kiss goodbye and then we'll head out. Here we go. Nice. Hey, you left without paying your bill of 27 months. Um, I left because I didn't want to pay it, but uh, sure, just charge me. I mean, that's fine. Hopefully, she'll be in labor fairly soon. Oh my, Emily's like high on life. Look at her. She's doing so good. What level are you in the career? Oh, she's level two. Emily is in the programming, right? Which means that she could like hack bank accounts eventually. So maybe she will be a good asset for us in that case. Hmm. Miss Emily, maybe it was fate, you becoming our roommate. I'm just saying. The fact that she's a programmer? Oh, she's in labor. Oh my God. Let's go to the hospital. She's just eating casually. <laughs> like, all right. Uh, should we get take Emily with us? We could just take Emily. Emily, come with me. We're having a baby. Not you and I, but you know. Oh, look, she's so cute. I kind of want to give her a makeover, but I low-key like her outfit. I'm not going to lie. Maybe the only thing I would change is like her hair or something. What? Emily's on fire. Emily's on fire. Emily? Emily, you're on fire. Emily! Oh my God. Oh my God. Please. Please. Call the fire department. Extinguish. Emily! You you're literally on fire. Emily, you cannot die right now. Emily? Hello? Oh my God. Please, can you extinguish yourself? Jocelyn, what are you doing? Jocelyn, please. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Emily, I was just, <sighs> hello? Can you do something, Jocelyn? Please, call the fire department. Extinguish? Oh my god. Oh my god. Please help. Another fire! Are you kidding me? Hello, please. I... Put out this freaking fire. Put it out right now. Oh my god. I was like, oh, look how cute. She's enjoying the fire. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I literally thought she was going to die. Like, I had this panic that she was about to freaking die in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Like my partner in crime was about to just poof. All right, let's just replace everything. How are you dancing after you were just burnt? Um, I, sh <laughs> I hate <laughs> What? How are you not phased by what just happened? Emily, please, please. Oh my God, wait, you're in labor. Oh my God, hold on. We gotta go give birth? Um, since the baby's on the way, Sims Social Services has provided a complimentary bassinet for the little one. Um, I was gonna go to the hospital, but sure. Where do they put the bassinet? Oh, they put it right here. I can't even move it. Oh, just kidding. She has to give birth at home because they won't let me leave. All right, I guess this is fine. This is just fine. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay. I want to know if it's Mortimer's. Shoot. Okay. We're going to name him Hades, but I'm going to keep the last name Porter for now until we figure out who the actual father is because she's currently Porter. So let's see. Is it Mortimer's? 
<gasps> it is Mortimer's baby. Hell yeah. We have a goth. My god. Please be cute. Where's Emily? Oh my <laughs> I found her. Um wake up and go to sleep. <gasps> Susan's at my house. Oh my god, why are you here? Um, hi Susan, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? Let's just invite her to dance. Let's just act casual. All right, let's just invite her in. Like, hey girl. Bon and Gravy. Quimba Maline. Oh yes. All right, I think she's fine. I don't think she knows anything. Whew. Good thing. Let's just casually ask her about her day, and that's it. Let's just talk. Let's have a little chat. She's probably telling her about how Steven left and took all her money. <laughs> but little does she know it was us. There's no way she suspects of us. Like, why would she come here? Unless she does and she's trying to find out that uh, maybe it was. Oh my god, Mortimer's here. Everybody's coming over today. Hi, honey. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my god, meet my, meet my fiance. Yeah, Mortimer, you have a child now. Are you excited? Because I sure as hell am. Even though that's not what Jocelyn wanted whatsoever. She was not wanting a kid, at least anytime soon. I feel like she's not necessarily going to be super nurturing to Hades or any of her future children because that's like not necessarily what she really wanted but she could always learn to be more nurturing um i feel like that comes naturally to most um women so i feel like maybe in time she'll grow to love hades more i mean they have a decent relationship right now but i feel like when she's gonna be moving around and stuff and you know hopping from house to house uh their relationship might drop a little bit but as long as maybe she stops in a couple times here and there, hopefully um, she can kind of maintain that. But, well, I guess we'll see within time what actually happens. Um, but hi. Okay, okay, Susan's just breaking it down. I mean, sure, girl. Oh my god, gossip. Yes, let's gossip. Let's not talk about Steven, though. That's all I'm saying. Let's not do that because then you're going to probably give yourself away. Uh, but I don't think Susan Listen suspects anything between um, Jocelyn and Steven, like them having a relationship or anything. Because I feel like Susan wasn't around that much in the house. Plus, the house is so big that, like, there's no way that she saw anything happen. Because they weren't really romantic in that house anyway. Everything kind of happened outside of the house, which I guess is good on her part. She's trying to have as little of evidence as possible which is kind of what's going on with mortimer as well like we hung out with him at the cabin and then we went out with him on a date so we haven't really hung out with him at his place at all i mean he's come over here but like nobody knows that like who jocelyn really is um except for the book club of course and then you know susan who was a part of that so i think as far as how we're going about things i think we're doing pretty good like we're not leaving too many traces that's the word I was looking for. Mortimer, you're a bad dad. Like, go go take care of him. Or Susan will. You just need to change his diaper. Come on, Susan. Can't you smell that? I smell it from my freaking computer screen. Let's go. All right, Mortimer, you got it this time. Come on, I believe in you. Just change the diaper. Just change his diaper, Mortimer. But he's being kind of cute to him. Aw. I don't know why my babies look like that. Why are they, like, glitched? Like, they look very, um... They look like you carved something out of wood, you know? What is wrong with my child? Like, why are you so squared like that? So I think we'll have the wedding today just so that we have that out of the way and then we don't have to worry about um, pushing it back too much. I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out with me. Of course. It was great to see you. It's been a little bit. What if, you know how I have like this real fascination with Judith? What if we try and marry Judith Ward? She's probably wealthy as hell. And oh my God. I never thought about it, but do I kill her? No, put that out right now. The thing is like, do I really want to kill Judith? Hmm, now I'm getting ideas. <laughs> I don't know. We are not playing with fire today. Did you not witness your friend literally burn? Cause I sure did. I was here panicking, thinking that she was about to die and you're here just like, oh, I'm gonna just light another fire. Yeah, okay, you do that. Oh my God, Susan's calling me. Whoa, I just had this dream. You were in it. We were both late for something. I can't remember what. Then you turned into a banana. What on earth made you want to turn into a banana? 
explain why be snarky be nice let's just explain why wow i never thought of that dreams are so weird yeah they are susan i was scared for zen because i was like what if she like dreamed of me like killing her husband or something and be like haha ha, such a funny dream <laughs> imagine i think i would lose it if that was the case oh my god all right, so I ended up scoping out the venue here in San Myshuno, and thankfully, it has a place that we can get married. So, yeah, this is what she looks like for her wedding. It's really cute, and I was actually able to invite Emily, so our bestie is here. Well, soon to be bestie, so let's go ahead and thank her for coming. And then uh, we invited quite a bit of people as well, so um, this should be fun. Oh, this is Nancy. Nancy, you're next. Just saying. Oh, my God. Penny, you actually came. I didn't think you were going to. This day is about me and not you, Penny. So please respect that. I'd appreciate it. This girl, I can't. Oh my God, they don't like Penny. Neither does Emily. Wait, that's so funny. Okay, Mortimer's here. All right, let's get married. Come on. Hi, Morty. Oh, you look at everybody's here. Is she asking for an autograph? All right, that was really quick. She's like getting into it right away. Come on. All right, here we go. Okay, Katrina, please sit down. We're having a wedding here. Her second wedding, guys. This is happening. Yes, oh my God, they're watching. That's what I'm talking about. Yay. I love how she just put it on his other wedding ring. <laughs> Woo! Second wedding! Hell yeah! Aww. How lovely. Guess what that means? We get to move in! Alright! Love it. Oh my god, open present with Mortimer? Can we do that? <gasps> yes! Let's do that! Wait, this is so cute! Penny, can you move? We're trying to open presents. Oh, I don't think you can open them when they're on the table. Let's see what they got us for our wedding, Morty. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, she didn't like it. Was it not expensive enough? There was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Oh, no. Okay, he got something. We're getting scammed today. She's so pretty. I love this. So I'm going to probably try and have her have a different wedding outfit every wedding she has. So it's not like the same exact thing, you know? Where'd he go? Why are you all the way over here? Who's this? Joanna. Aw. Cute. Wait, why is Susan sad? Maybe it's because she didn't end up ever getting married. Because, well, we kind of convinced her to leave her husband. <laughs> Alright, well, it seems like our wedding has been a success. And thankfully, we can end it soon because um, she's getting tired. Oh, Susan, don't be sad. Cheer up. I don't even think there's a place that we can go and dance, is there? Unless it's upstairs. No, people are just chilling up here reading books at a wedding. Have y'all lost your mind? Even you, Mortimer? Honey, what? I don't even know what's going on here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the wedding. Just married. Congratulations on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together now? Yes, of course. All right, we're moving in. Oh my God, Bella still lives here. I'm surprised the goths don't have more money. Like I'm kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. So we arrived at a brand new home. Was this when they were happy together? Cause I'm sorry, <laughs> I kinda um, ruined that. Look at that, there's more photos here. What I'm trying to decide now is, cause obviously I'm not gonna kill Mortimer here. Like I'm gonna take him somewhere and kill him. Like obviously like what we did with Steven. But what I'm trying to figure out is, do I kill the rest of his family? Because, like, if they know that I've moved in, right, will they be more suspicious? I feel like Bella might be. Do I just murder all the goths or we kill everybody but Alexander? Even though Alexander, I have beef with him, like, maybe not child Alexander, but adult Alexander... I will forever have beef just because I'm not so very challenged. Thing with that being said, though, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Next one, we are most likely going to have the dinner party. We need to find our next victim, which most likely will be Nancy. I mean, we'll try and see if we can get her fortune. Let's hope that she is actually fairly wealthy. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.